Say ya. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Brittany Jade and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be attempting to do a Cleopatra inspired makeup look. Now, I have been putting this off for so long because I just feel like I'd fail miserably at it because I'm absolutely hopeless at eyeliner. But I'm going to put in 110% effort into this makeup look today to try and really make it work. And if I fail miserably, then I know that I tried. <laughs> so before I blabber on anymore, I'm just going to dive right in. So as usual, I'm going to start off with my Too Faced Hangover Primer to prime my skin. So for once in my life, I'm actually not going to be using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation today, but I'm still going to be using NARS. <laughs> I'm going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in shade Medium 1. Shock, I know, right? I don't think I've ever swapped foundations in my video ever. Have I? I don't know. I just feel like every single video I film, I use my NARS Sheer Glow. So I thought... I'll change it up a bit. Use this one instead. Ooh. It just looks so nice. Surely I have used other foundations in my videos. I'm sure I have. I think a couple of times I've used Double Wear. I think I've used Too Faced, Born This Way. I think I've used a bit of MAC. But I know that most definitely my most used foundation is... My NARS Sheer Glow. <laughs> it, it is like my all-time favourite foundation. I bought a black wig for today's look. And I'm actually really nervous to see how I look with the black wig on. <laughs> so for concealer, as always, or well, lately, <laughs> I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Just to brighten up my under eye area and to cover up any under eye bags that I have which I know that I have a fair few so yay <laughs> and next just setting my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder I don't actually think I own any other setting powders is that bad? <laughs> and just popping that onto my eyes and to my T-zone, which is the main spots that I get shiny. But really, I don't get that shiny when I'm using this foundation because I have ridiculously dry skin at the moment and it's disgusting. <laughs> so to contour my face, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette with the shade Shadow Play, which is this shade right here. And try and chisel out my face a little bit because I know Cleopatra, she didn't look very chiseled out. She just looked very bronzed and dewy and just beautiful in my opinion. That's what we're going to try and do here. <laughs> oh my god, my hands. <laughs> I just realised my hands look disgusting because I tan yellow night and I didn't do a very good job at it. <laughs> I'm just using this massive fluffy brush to bronze my forehead. And next just going to set my under eyes with the shade Lyric, which is this shade right here. Because sometimes my under eyes get a bit shiny. So by looking at some photos, it didn't look like she used any blush. So I'm going to skip out on that today and I'm going to go straight to highlighter. So as always, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Eye... Bleh, <laughs> the Huda Beauty Highlighting Palette. I'm going to use the shade Zores, Zores. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is this... You can't even see it. It is this gold shade right here to highlight my face. Because she looked very like golden and bronzed and just beautiful. And just some down the tip of my nose. Every time. <laughs> and just onto my brow bones as well. 
Okay, so next I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using the Kmart OXX Studio Brow Pot in number 3 Dark, which is actually black. Oh my god. <laughs> Wish me luck, y'all. This will probably end up looking ridiculous, but I'm going to give it a good go. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Black eyebrows, blonde hair. Mmm. This isn't right. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to eyeshadow, which as you all know is my favourite part. I look absolutely ridiculous right now. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, ignore it. I'm going to go in with this blue shade right here and put that into my crease. Don't give up yet, Brittany. <laughs> you got this. Do I, but Do I got this? This blue is actually so pretty. Wow. And just popping that onto my lower lash line as well. So next I'm going to be creating a cut crease, so I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Does anyone else stop breathing when they're doing a cut crease or eyeliner? Or is it just me? Yep, definitely didn't breathe that whole time. <laughs> Won't be breathing while doing eyeliner either. <laughs> So next I'm going to be using the Stilla Smoky Storm, or what is it? <laughs> the Stilla Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Smoky Storm, which is this one right here. And it is a beautiful gold coloured glitter that I think would go really well with this look. So just popping that onto where I've created the cut crease. And just really packing that onto my eyelid and into the inner corner of my eyes as well. And next, just packing on some of the BYS glitter in gold onto my eyelid as well. Just so we're hella sparkly. Man, I love glitter so much. Like, it is honestly my favourite thing to play with. So next I'm going to be doing some winged eyeliner and some other Egyptian eyeliner. If I can even do it. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Quick Flick Eyeliner Pens for this job. Because I'm hopeless. Okay, we got one. Oh, wrong end. <laughs> Man, there is glitter everywhere. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. I've never worn this much eyeliner in my life. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> so this is quite a shock for me. <laughs> This feels weird. <laughs> so next I'm going to try and create the little whoop thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do my best. It's not even straight. <laughs> Guys, I shit you not, that took me about six goes to get it the way that I wanted it to be. Six goes! <laughs> so I'm going to quickly apply my false magnetic eyelashes. Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and last but not least, I'm going to be applying the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, <laughs> the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in Stripped. So it's a very nude color, which I love, and I think would go very well with this look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try and apply this wig and I will see you guys back in a minute. Guys, I look like a goddamn secret agent or some shit, but this just looks wrong. <laughs> what is going on? My fringe like starts like here in the middle of my head. This is bad. <laughs> this is shocking. It's like molding it's like hair everywhere that's disgusting oh my god it's all in my eyes and everything guys this is gross i just don't suit black hair <laughs> so i'm gonna whip her off because this is so oh uncomfortable oh my god oh yes <laughs> But anyway guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually had so much fun at creating a Cleopatra inspired makeup look today. I actually did struggle with this little feature right here. It took me about six goes. So I've been filming for about two and a half hours because I kept messing it up and I got really cranky. <laughs> but I got there in the end and I obviously do not suit black wigs slash black hair. So this little friend will be going in the bin. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. It really helped me out a lot. I hope you all have a fabulous week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!